Cape Town for the biggest event of the year, which is the Red Bull King of the Air. Wind's picking up to about 20 knots, and this is really exciting just to be part of this event. World's best riders on one beach, it's gonna be epic. Yeah, we've got the 24 best riders in the world here, you know, battling for that first place, and um, I won it last year, so I'm defending my title right now, and I'm ready for it. The sun's shining, girls are out of bikinis, so nobody's complaining. What we're looking for today is extreme big air. We want to see these guys go as hard, high and extreme as possible. As I launch my kite, things disappear, you know. I hit the water and that's when I'm in my zone. So whatever happens around it, I just enjoy it and suck up the positive vibes from everyone. And uh, yeah, that's what we do, just rock on. Well, this is pretty much the biggest turnout for any event in kiteboarding, I would say. And uh, it definitely makes a difference when you're out there, you know, you look back and you can see the amount of people that are flooded into this area and definitely pushes you one step further to go a bit more, a bit more crazy and hear the roar of the crowd. 2015 Red Bull King of the Air in association with Mystic. We are heading into the final. In the finals, we've got a five-time world champion, Aaron Adler, all the way from the UK. We've got last year's champion, Kevin Langery. We've got the previous year's champion, Jesse Richmond, and all the way from Holland, Jerry van der Korp. So guys, sit tight. It's gonna be an epic showdown. So uh, make sure you hang tight on your seats and uh, cheer your favorite riders on. goes to Aaron Hadlow with a Mega Loop KGB. In your third place, without further ado, Mr. Jerry Van der Kopp from the Netherlands is in third place. What an incredible final between these two in first place this year. Aaron Hadlow, first place for the Red Bull. Association with Mystic, Kevin Longray from the Netherlands in second place. The atmosphere is it's like nothing else basically. It's the one, one event in kiteboarding that really is for kiteboarding, so I'm happy to be a part of that and, and be on top of the podium. 